知られたくないものだものねでもそんな場所私に教えちゃってよかったのえうんそんなことないよすごく嬉しいキリトとレジャースポットっていうのも楽しそうだったけどねでもここで十分だよ。っていうか、ここに連れてきてくれて、嬉しい。ありがとうね、キリト。でも、勘違いしちゃうよ。こんなことするのは、特別な人だけにするものだよ、キリト。な、何を、それって、私がキリトにとって、その、特別な存在ってことだよねああそんなことだとは思っていましたよそそれは言い過ぎよでもまあパートナーって言われたら悪い気はしないけれど。あのー、ねキリトちょっとあんたの命を支えてる
その対価としてさちょっと言ったでしょ元気の充電中なの。何また戦闘の訓練行くわどうせ他にやることもないし。何回やればいいのよ100回何か途方もないわねあんたの戦闘訓練
素直に怒れない分ゲームかつく。ししてないでしょうねそうならいいけどロー、everyone, this is Fortune Gentleman, 24 years, bringing you more Sword Art Infinity Moments. Last time that we've been playing this game, a lot of crazy shenanigans have been happening while we were doing some random ass shit. Before we start talking about the game, I want to ask, how is everybody? Your day's been well? Anything new? Spring break coming up for all of you people? I know mine is. I'm gonna enjoy it. So... What is new with Sword Art Online Infinity? Well, we beat the giant Minotaur. We went on a date with Elizabeth. We didn't get the one kill, so... Guess what? We get introduced to our newest member, Leafa-chan. Oh, what a marvelous beauty. Now, the only thing I probably have wrong with her is... Mm, I kind of don't like the fact about the whole scenario with her. Because, I mean, when we look at her, she's mostly... Her character is based off of... Mm, oh, hey, wait, wait, what am I talking about? My bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I actually just remembered that I was thinking of something else. The only one thing I can see that's wrong with her that I don't like is usually I would think that she's kind of like the healer kind of class, but eh, she mostly all the attacks I've seen her do were mostly just attacking skills. Now I gotta say, the 79th floor is not such a bad area. It's pretty swanky. We got some bees outside. We got some harpies. Always first thing you do, you want to tar start attacking the first enemies you see. You want to get a feeling for your characters. And what better feeling is to actually start off with a twin burst attack. And surprisingly, if you're like me, you'll actually, you might have accidentally forgot to turn in some quests. Some quests may be from the past, where you gotta kill some enemies on the lower floor. But, for this case, we gotta kill a couple of these goddamn freaking sirens. And you know what I say to that? I say it's a lot of bullcrap. <laughs> Cause, sirens to me, they sound more like fishes, not a bunch of freaking goddamn Birds! Welcome to the Watering Temple. This place is... Well... How should I say? It is kind of annoying. I mean, you're only in here for a short while. And you see the little red things in there. You're thinking, oh, those are probably sea creatures. Go well, guess what? They are sea creatures. They're a bunch of freaking crabs. You got the little crabs, and then you got the goddamn father crabs, which is bullshit. I mean, come on, get really. Fresh crab, 
you gotta kill two of these. It's always recommended. I would say kill two of those guys and then go for Father Crab. And when you think about Father Crab, you mostly think, hmm, he's probably a he's probably a mini boss. Nope. He's just a regular boss. Regular monster you gotta kill who gives you kinda like a certain amount of EXP. I've actually seen some strange things with this EXP system gain on this thing, like you kill one enemy, they'll give you like a low percent, then kill another one, they'll give you more, then more, then more, then less, then less. So, I really don't understand that at all, but hey, I'm not picky about it. Though I do have one question. I have the EXP buff. You can actually get skill in this game, but does the EXP buff thing only go for your weapons, or does it go for your character? Because... Any EXP I would normally gain would easily just give it to me, but instead it says I get like zero, so I'm not sure. Maybe something's wrong, maybe something's going on. Also, a side note, you shall see that there's a lizard over there. Well, not right now, but there was. There'll be a lizard all the way over to, if I adjust the camera, right there. That one has like the lightest glow around him. You're gonna wanna maybe kill him later if you want, cause he's the most he's mostly a boss mini boss you're gonna need to kill. Two main mini bosses. A lizard and something even worse. Something beyond this door. How do we open it? We gotta hit three switches. Where are these three switches? Oh, they're throughout the area. Number three is past that water place if you keep going forward. Where's the first one? In this room. Bingo. Right then and there. All you need to do... Do not mind that. I was listening to a video while I was actually doing this, so sorry. Sorry for that. I do apologize. You got to see Peter Griffin there for a second. Doing the... Um, uh, what was it? Um, Bless, Down, Bless the Rain in Africa song. It's the episode where um, Peter, miss, Peter accidentally tells the wrong information to Joe and tells him that Bonnie had an affair with a Frenchman when he actually didn't. Which he actually didn't. So it leads to Joe having sex with the younger police woman. And then they hear it over the baby monitor and so forth and so forth. But you know, now we're talking about Family Guy. I just got one question for all you Family Guy fans out there. In the episode where Joe has an affair... In that episode, they were saying that... Joe met Bonnie when she was a stripper or a stripper it was a stripper but if I remember correctly there was an old episode in the very very beginning I think it was when Peter first met Joe Bonnie was saying a story how they first fell in love with another when Bonnie was on the verge of suicide and Joe stayed up for a very long time trying to convince her not to jump. No, I mean, which is it? Is it is it when she was a stripper or was it when she was jumping off a roof? This is one thing I kind of don't like about Family Guy. They usually do not always keep the main idea. I mean, big example, let's take a look-see at... Mm, the episode where Joe gets revenge. In that episode, Joe gets revenge by actually finding the guy who actually crippled him. But, in the past, he was saying it was because of the Grinch. Now, when seeing this or hearing this, the first thing that comes to mind is... Bullshit. You freaking Family Guy creators. I know you're funny with all this crap, but come on. 
really, you don't need to keep on misleading your fans. I'm pretty sure a lot of them know what the hell is going on. But enough about the Family Guy. We're going to be talking about the Zord Art. So, what do I think of this area? Mm. It's annoying. It's fun. The only thing I don't like is, well, once we hit that switch, something's gonna happen. What that one thing is? Ooh. <sighs> You're gonna love it. You're just gonna fucking love it. Cause, here it is. We got this. Young, peaceful little player walking in all casually, minding her own business, not doing a carefree thing to cause any suspicion. Until she goes down the hallway we were going to go to. And, wouldn't you know it, there's something waiting there for her. What is this thing? Why? It's none other than a door. But that door is only a fake because it's actually a giant crab. Now, many things go through my head when I see this crab. Maybe it's like the Incredible Hulk, like, don't get the crab angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. No matter what you do, if you try to go that direction, you're going to just keep getting blocked off because you're saying, we heard a scream, let's go investigate it, cutie tall. You're like, blah, blah, blah. It'd be nice if you could just leave that player alone. I mean, this is the new version of the game. Like, do you still die in real life if you die in this game? Because, I mean, come on. I mean, if they make you die in the real life, and die in the game, then why, if you die in this game, why do they not show, like, a, like a scene where Kirito actually dies? I mean, that's a little bit pushing it, but, I mean, come on. That would be pretty sweet. You would actually see Kirito actually die in the real world while being on a video game. But... Uh, that's just my opinion. I mean, oh god, I forgot how ugly this guy was. I mean, look how ugly this guy is. You know what's funny? He is so freaking weak. I mean, all you really need to do is just do an attack that can dish out a lot of attacks. I mean, take a look, he even misses a lot. I mean, just start doing this. He's already in your life. Now, I'm pretty sure if I use my 200 skill, which <laughs> I am, but if I did it first, he would have been already dead. We wouldn't have to see this much. You know what? We're going to see it. 3, 2, 1, and it thing is now dead. Goodbye, you stupid green crab. Goodbye, you stupid young woman I hope you live a very useful life now what is our prize for doing this what do we get for actually saving this young woman's life or man's life I don't know I can't tell cuz that face looks so uh, how do I put it so manly in a way now for the annoying part of this place. What is it? Why, it's getting to the boss door. And you know what? I'm actually going to do something a little bit different for these things. So instead of actually showing you of me actually running through the whole place, I'm just going to most likely cut ahead until I actually get near it. Because, I mean, that's a little bit more better. I mean, I'll show it myself actually getting towards the door and getting up the stairs, but I'm just going to cut ahead because, I mean, it takes too long. That's a too long of a long wait walk. Go from point A 
to point B, then go from point B to point C, then to D, then to E, then to F. But with that, we get to the next floor. The next floor, mm, it's a little bit more complex. More crabs, more golems, more crap. Actually, I have to think about it. I don't think there was a golem in this place. I think it was like another monster. I think it's lizards, yeah. Long walking distance. Yes. <sighs> but yeah, I might as well ask again. How is everybody? Is there anything new going on with you guys? For me, mm, keeping up with work, keeping up with family, friends, the whole balooks. But we can hold on for that for later. Because now we finally made it to the goddamn door. And that means we are one step away. One little step away from clearing this floor. And I am looking forward to that. あんた、聞いても驚かないでね。私も戸惑ってるんだから。私がSAOソードアートオンラインのことを聞いたのはテレビのニュースでよ。たくさん死人が出ている。最悪のデスゲームだって。死亡者はまだ捕まっていないって言ってた。落ちてきて、あんたに受け止められたあの時に私はこの世界に迷い込んだ。ナブギアなんてとっくに発売中止よ。多分メディキボイドのせいで。医療用の機械なんだけど。フルダイブ技術を応用して医療カウンセリング系のテストだったんだけど。VRMMOは、なんとか療法にいい効果が期待できそうだとか。もちろん、SAOじゃない。元ブナンナVRMMOでね。それでアバター作成してカウンセラーを待ってたら、急に足元が揺
ましたよ雪吊りの私なんかあごめん私こそマナー違反だったわねあんた話したくないって顔してる私ね今まではあんたのこと失礼な変なやつくらいにしか思ってなかったけどでももしかしたら私たち意外と似た者同士なのかもね今なんだかそんな気がした。And just, just let everyone know, this is the boss I was talking about. The Zane Lizard Man. What is he? He's a boss you gotta, he's the one of the, he's the key mini boss you gotta fight mostly. About him? Oh, he is such an annoying little prick. I am being honest, he is so bloody annoying, cuz... He spawns in an, he's in an area where lizard men will keep us spawn will keep spawning back to attack you. You gotta take your time to either fight him or deal with the damage that the lizard men are actually dealing to you. Constantly see you're there. Another one respawned. And after I kill this one, the second one is gonna target me and gonna try to attack me. So what do I do? I bring out the twin blade and attack it one by one by one by one by one and then it's dead not. It survived. So what do we do? We do a regular swing and then reflect and then swing and there we go. Now we can attack this thing. But guess what? He's not gonna be that Easy to deal, so that's why I say use the wind. Oh, but look, we got more enemies respawn, and they're coming for me too. Just a little side note trick. You see that rock there? Do not go anywhere near that rock if you remove the camera, because it will be very, very, very hard to see. As you will see in a couple of seconds. Let's take a look. See, it's starting, it's getting a little bit closer. It's going to be a little hard to see. See what I mean? It is so hard to see when standing there. So constantly during the run, I had to find a way, go like, wait, what way am I facing? What way am I facing? Come on, why can't I move? <laughs> but this boss, he's not all that hard. He's pretty easy. The only thing I find annoying about him is just the enemies. And also the fact that the enemies knock you out of your sword art skill. You see, now we got a bunch of lizards here. They're attacking me one by one by one by one. But the side note, the main dude, he is so weak. All we have to do is just do a regular combo against him. And we will win. Do I get a chance to do it? Yes. How long does it take? Uh, as long as it took for me to actually get away from these freaking lizards, but they kept on coming forward and knocking me out of my sword art skill, causing me to waste my what would it be SP skill points or what we call skill points or what we call style points. I would probably say style point sounds a little bit more badass for it, but <sighs> the giant fucking thing is dead now. And what do we do? We run away. 
See you next time, folks. Yeah.